important thing is coefficient of determination. In this, we said what is so b1 is the uh, the correlation coefficient multiplied by the standard deviation of y divided by standard deviation of x. This correlation coefficient or Pearson's correlation coefficient when squared called as r square is known as the coefficient of determination. Let's say my value of the coefficient of determination comes out to be 0.37. What does that mean? It means that there is 37% variance which can be explained in the final scores because of the quiz scores. So how much variance can be explained? The variation which can be explained in the final score because of the quiz score is how much it is 37 percent so this is how we explain the coefficient of determination now the same thing that i mentioned if there is an outlier if there is an outlier at 90 or if there is an outlier at zero in both of these cases as you can see my r value changes significantly so initially my slope value was 0.8 <coughs> but 0.85 now <clears throat> there has been a significant change in the slope value because my r values changes here and any of the outlier it can reduce the correlation value or it can increase the correlation value as we have seen so in either of the cases depending on the location of the outlier we can understand that there can be an increase or decrease similarly extrapolation when you are talking about a population set which does not have the sample so the population is different from the sample in that case again the regression analysis can be actually um, deviated understanding another important thing in correlation we understand that there is a uh, we, this is caused due to this but correlation is not equal to causation that's very very important to understand let's say uh, i do a study where i say there is a strong correlation between smoking and lung cancer but this shows that yes there is a strong correlation but this does not establish a cause the cause was established only once it was scientifically verified and proved so it's not necessarily that correlation between the two things or always lead to the cause it's not at all important that the correlation is because of the uh, if there is a correlation there has to be a cause or there is a causation okay to establish a cause one must rule out any possibility of the lurking variables now what are lurking variables we have already covered before the idea is this could the cause could be due to some other reason and if that reason is not taken into account then i cannot accomplish a solid relation between the two things so we have found out how the slope changes so as we mentioned the slope of y on x and slope of x on y both of these are important to understand now once i have the two slopes the slope of x uh, multiplied by sorry uh, last uh, where we talked about the slope i'm just going back to the point there uh, okay uh, i i mentioned that the geometric mean of the two slopes okay so the geometric means of the two slopes which is the slope of y on x and x on y the geometric mean of that would be equal to what that would be equal to r again if by x is greater than 1 bxy would be less than 1